Hey, it's Philippe from Plant with Purpose, and I want to show you something exciting. It's this, the 2024 Plant with Purpose Impact Report. And in this report, you find all the numbers, all the fine details on our work, its impact. And this is really how you know that your support for Plant with Purpose is making a difference in the communities that we're serving. I know we all have our different relationships with numbers, right? Some of you love them. That's what makes things clear and easy to navigate. And other people might find numbers more intimidating. That's how it was for me, especially while I was in school. But you know what really helped me appreciate numbers and statistics a lot more? was realizing that the data tells a story. What's special about stories told through these numbers is it shows us that these examples we're hearing about are not just extremely standout success stories, but that they actually represent a very typical experience for a plant with purpose participant. Look through these numbers, uh, prepare to be amazed, and also don't just check it out in print, but if you head to our website, the digital experience has a lot to offer. Come check this out. So the digital version of this impact report has so many fun features, interactive elements, and Easter eggs that you could spend a lot of time on here. I just want to highlight a few of my favorite features. Over here, you've got this neat interactive watershed map. And if you see, there's a variety of pulsing dots. You can hover or click on any of them to see some of the cool things that are happening in a typical plant with purpose watershed. We see that upstream activity ends up protecting the entire watershed, which is important because we're working with a lot of people who live on steep hillsides. We see that tree cover is improving 362% faster in participant watersheds compared to the norm in that country. That's all really cool. Those are the impacts of community design restoration. And now this is pretty neat. Right under this description of why Plant With Purpose chooses to work in the places that it does, um, you really see why. It's because working on sloped hillside farms gives us an opportunity to protect the soil uh, and the people who depend on that soil. And here's a strong visual example of that from Thailand in the Hoi Lu watershed. Uh, this slider is an effective before and after, and you can see what it looked like uh, back in 2002. Uh, and you see a lot more patches of brown. There are some trees, but look what happens in 2020. Uh, a lot more vibrant trees, and you can even just see that the soil itself looks healthier. We often talk about how Plant With Purpose participants reduce their poverty by 55%. Now, this graphic here shows you what that means. You know, poverty is not just about how much money you have, and especially in the rural context, is multidimensional. And this breaks it down how uh, things like how many meals families eat per day, or whether you have 30 minute access to water. Here's some pretty impressive reforestation and environmental stats 300 trees planted on average by participants in the last year. And you can see that those are native trees, that they have an above average survival rate. So we did a specific case study on the Democratic Republic of Congo, probably one of the hardest countries to be in right now, uh, one of the hardest countries we work in. That represents over 300,000 acres protected, poverty down by 75%. So DRC, that stands out even above the 55% average across our programs. And you can even hear from participants from our Congo program of what that means to them personally. Now, I just walked you through a few of my favorite features, but I encourage you to spend some time on this page to check it out. This is your doing. And as you do so, just remember that uh, what you're contributing is having a real impact where it is badly needed. These numbers tell stories and you have had a hand in writing them. Thank you.